Hi, Sagapi, Liberty Home Mortgage. And the question today, what are points? Okay, points are additional fees you pay to get an interest rate, okay? So points are additional fees that you pay to get an interest rate. Now, why would somebody pay additional fees to get an interest rate? Simple, I'll give you an example, okay? I'm gonna write this down over here, but first let me check this here. Okay, let me check. So watch this one here. For example, let's pretend the loan's $200,000, okay? And let's pretend the interest rate's 7%. Okay, and let's go over here to my board over this way, and let's pretend the loan is still $200,000. And let's pretend the interest rate is 6%, okay? So you have a 6% interest rate over here. You have a 7% interest rate over here. Let me check my notes. I got my little cheat sheet, okay? So I'm sitting over here with a 7% interest rate on this loan here. The monthly mortgage payment would be $1,331 over here, okay? So $1,331 a month is the monthly payment over here. So the 7% interest rate on a $200,000 mortgage, principal interest payments, 1331. Let's go to this one over here. At a 6% interest rate, the mortgage payment is $1,200 per month. Okay? So naturally, if you're buying a home today, you want the 6% rate and the lower payment. All right? That's sitting right here. $200,000 loan there. Let's go back to here. However, let's just say the market rate is actually at 7%. When the market rate's actually at 7%, this is the baseline, that's called par, that's called the market rate, it's at seven. But you sit here and you talk to some, some other mortgage lender who says, our rate's six. And you're sitting here saying, man, everybody else is telling me seven and this person over here is telling me six. Watch this one. This is where points come in. If you pay points and additional fees, as an example. Now, don't use this number as like a concrete number of like, that's what it is. I'm just giving you an example. As an example, to go from 7% to 6% might cost something like three points, okay? Let's say it costs three points. Three points are 3% of $200,000. 3% of $200,000 is $6,000. So basically, you have to pay an additional $6,000 of closing cost, which is in addition to your normal closing cost, just to get the lower interest rate. So do you wanna pay $6,000 more in fees to save $1,200 over here, $1,331 over here? So the difference in payment is $131 a month. That's $131 a month, but, that's for spending $6,000 more, okay? So these are the breakdowns that a very good loan officer and a mortgage person will go over with you when you're looking at buying a home and you have to weigh all of this stuff there, okay? So I have to see that the payments actually add up correctly, which of course they do. So that's what points are. Points are additional fees you pay to get a lower interest rate. So the rate was at seven, you paid an additional $6,000 went down to six over here. It dropped your payment down $131. And when you're talking to the right professional, they're gonna explain this stuff correctly. Points are additional fees that you pay to get a lower interest rate. You went from a rate of seven to six, or you went from a rate of five to three, or you went from a rate of eight to seven, okay? Points are additional fees you pay to get that. Pay attention to my videos, make sure you're subscribing. Click on the thumbnails, check out my other videos that are like this, subscribe, post questions in the comments section, I'll answer all the questions, and we'll see you on the next video.